Greetings, God of Gold here, back again with another video. Now, um, recently I've still had some audio problems, but I managed to resolve them utilizing um, a latest version of uh, a power wreck, which it's still a really good tool, just so long that everything, you know, works with it. Now, um, today I will be showing you and demonstrating of a few steps. Now, as the title suggests, it is about making a focus tree, but for those of you who don't know how to create a mod, it's really simple. First, when I begin with this process, you're going to go into your launcher via Steam, and this is where you're going to do most of your work, at least in terms of making the main frame. So let's say you want a version, like a very early version of your mod. So let's just do, I don't know, 0 0.1. And we're going to do, um, for the focus tree, I'm be demonstrating. So we're going to do focus tree test. I mean, you can name it whatever you want, just so long, you know, the directory. Like, you can put this... You can underscore it, lowercase, but the pathing for here, like the directory, has to work. Now, let's say you want to do balance, fixes, and gameplay. You can do that. Now, I'm not going to make like a giant tree for this because I know you pro guys probably don't want to sit here and watch me go through all that. It's a long process in itself, but if you are curious to know, well, that's usually how it is. It's a lot of patience. Uh, wouldn't, lie, wouldn't lie to you. So, now, once that is there, you create your mod, and then in your directory area, you look for it. Now, it's somewhere in here. I know it's here because I did create it so let's say um yeah here it is so sometimes it can come up in your initial like you have to go to add more mods and then go here to find it <laughs> so yeah um then what you do next you simply click play and i'll cut here for when it's operational and I'll see you in a moment. Okay, so we open the game very quickly and um, now here's what you wanna do. Before, my recommendation, before you do any sort of like edit in terms of making a new focus tree, I highly recommend look for inspiration, whether if it's in vanilla or maybe another mod. But don't, of course, steal ideas. That's not, that's not a good thing to do. So what you want to do, like, let's say you want to make a new focus tree. And let's say, um, I don't know, like any, any minor country, like, or you could do majors, but for the sake of convenience, um, We'll do a minor country. So let's do Ireland. Now, what you do is, when you play it first, you can get further insight as to what you need. So like, if it comes up with the uh, generic focus tree, no big deal. You can change it in the, um, in the coding. But keep in mind though, that depending on what happens, like, whenever you make a new focus, uh, it can sometimes, like, if you put, like, an extra digit in between, it can, I'll show you in a bit, but basically it malfunctions if you over-code it. But you can't under-code it either. So, there are specific requirements needed. So, um... When you open the game, not only you get insight, but there are a series of commands I'm about to show you. 
that will improve your um, intel of what to make. So like, for example, Ireland. Not much goes on here at the beginning of the game. I'm not talking about real life either. So let's say um, you want a new focus tree, but as you can see, it's generic. So we can fix this. So all we have to do is put in the right kind of ID um, for, let's say, um, so for the sake of this, I'm going to use tdebug, which will give me a little more insight onto like IDs and stuff. And there's another one. Um, it sometimes helps. You can also just type GUI or GUI and it does this. Like it gives you better intel on like the interface and you can clearly see where stuff is, you know, like the icons and stuff. But that's optional, but I'm not gonna use it because it might get a little confusing on screen. So let's say we want to make a brand new focus tree. And this focus tree would be designed to replace the um, Irish generic one. So let's say when you create new folders, you're gonna you're gonna need these following folders. Hang on. So it's common. And if you want a custom icon, I would say GFX. But of course, you can use another pre-made icon if it's available. But if you really want to make a new icon for focus, uh, I think I'll save that for the next video. So stay tuned for that. And uh, localization. This gives you a proper means of adding text using the IDs that are given. For example, it could say something like army underscore effort and there's no capitalization. Although sometimes capitalization can be included, especially where the tag is. Like it says IRE underscore and then the name. But that's basically what you're going to need. Um, so under common, you do national focus. So with this national focus, you'll be able to instill certain things. Now, I do recommend using these three pages because um, I'll briefly explain what they do because I don't want to take up the whole time. So modifiers are basically, you know, modifiers. What they do is they go on to stuff like an idea, a dynamic modifier, which goes for states, actually. Um, you can pretty much put them anywhere, but they cannot work as effects. So keep that in mind. And that's the other thing. The effects in this area, this is what goes into like events or possibly decisions. Um, I might do another video on that if it's any help. Uh, conditions, of course, conditions. You, you need like certain requirements to happen like for example if you want uh, like a certain trigger um, you can do that um, you could even like hidden triggers which hidden triggers are really effective I really like using these because um, you don't see them it's like a ghost effect but yeah, I'll leave a link for all three of these in the description down below, but I'm going to have them up over here only because uh, it is helpful when you want to make a new focus because, as you can clearly see, if you scroll over, they have effects for each and individual ones. Um, the icon, of course, comes up over here, but let's say um, if we're going to start off small, I'd say... You want to make a tree, but you don't want to make it too big. 
Now, I've seen uh, trees that were really big. In fact, I made one uh, some time ago. It was. It took me a very long time to finalize it because of all the effects that were missing. Um, so keep that in mind. If you do not put, like, completion award underneath, which I'll show you in a minute, but basically, if there's something wrong with it, it's not going to work. It's either going to be missing, it could be on a wrong area. It varies from person to person, I've noticed. So, your best bet is to just keep an eye out for it. Now, let's say you want to make a new tree, but this tree will be something like, um, like, say you want to make it so that Ireland gets uh, Northern Ireland back from the United Kingdom. Now, keep in mind, this is just a test. This isn't real. Calm down. And what you do is, all right, so you go into the tree, it's still generic. You open up the file where it is. Now, this is where you're gonna put the text documents, by the way. So, what you're gonna do, uh, I have a quick link on my desktop, so I'll be able to get back into this area. Now, you can also add events like with that focus but that's it's a little more complex i only want to do this for you know simplicity regions like if you really like want to make something quick this is one of the simplest ways of doing it there's many different options too like you can load oobs which are basically weapon like not weapons they're basically units from um you know the the inter area of the folders it's kind of complicated um i'm getting off track so once you have the folder go in here now you can use any one of these as a template so like if you really want to use the generic one as a template you may but i don't think that's the best idea because it could come up this way or possibly messed up uh, depending on what happens. So, my recommendation is that um, you would create, like there's a couple ways you could do this. You can copy and paste, or in this case, you can create a new um, text document. Now, this isn't a YML file because .YML files that's found in localization. I'll show you guys uh, later on. Now, once this is all set up, uh, you have your basic folder. Now you're gonna want to look at the file structure. Let's say uh, let's borrow Portugal. Um, yes, there are search filters, stuff like that. Um, each one has their own piece but for the sake again of convenience uh, let's try this All right now again I'm gonna try to make a small focus as a solid demonstration now let's say um, yes, you could put a focus filter, which basically that's just like a, a search thing. Like whether if it's up here or if it's over here, you could do stuff like that. It's pretty handy. Now, take what's in front of you into a lot of consideration. Now, in order to get these focuses to work, um, usually what I would do is, um, when you have, when you have, um, I guess, uh, what you gonna call it? Yeah, when you have like a state or something, and like these are like requirements, like if it's available or something. But we really don't need that right now. But if you do want to use it, be my guest. But let's say. We want 
this bypass, like this, this focus has a bypass. And what the bypass will do is it will cancel out whatever event that is in action. Like it'll cancel any effect. It stops it dead in its tracks. So let's say we want the bypass so that it can only work if Ireland doesn't have this state. Well, that's under conditions, as I mentioned earlier. So I would say you can use the search using control F and just do own. And until you find, yep, own state. Drop that in there. And keep in mind, you need the ID of the state. You can't just drop any ID in there. It doesn't work like that. So it's state ID of 119. And now, um, also, don't worry about this where it says has DLC. That, that's, that's screwy because it doesn't, it doesn't work like the way you want to and it can cause certain issues so I mean if you want DLC requirements you can keep them but I personally am not a fan of them so uh, all right so here as you can see this uh, that's the ID obviously and then down here is the tag and here's the bypass, hence the tag matches with. Now, let's say we want to do something like Ire or Ireland, which is the tag. Um, give back Belfast. Sorry, I accidentally made a capital there. Now, what we'll do for the completion award is it will it's designed to give the state over to Ireland so I'm thinking so you're probably thinking okay so what do we do well there's a bunch of different ways you could do you can do transfer state like transfer underscore state but what would also help um, if I use a quick example from my anarchism mod basically what this will do um, in the Russian Civil War stuff you can like get like the states and stuff all set up I might make a separate video on them but um, oh I forgot um, this is the, still the Portuguese file Oh boy. Um, hang on, let me just. Don't worry, I copied everything, so you don't have to pay attention to this part. I, this was my bad. Alrighty, all right. So here's the Irish file. I apologize for that. Now, continuous focus position. Uh, that one's a weird one because usually whenever you have like a focus or something I mean you can position it wherever pretty much you want like say if you want it like this um, like kind of not too far so the transfer state business what you do is un transfer underscore state and you go to the ID which was 119 that's where Belfast is in the game so you do that. Now, if you want to add more flavor to it, you can using um, these effects or modifiers for whether putting like national spirits. Uh, I think I have a separate video of national spirits um, on the channel. So, I mean, if I don't, I'll probably make another one anyway because I'm trying to make this as helpful as possible. Uh, now, that's the only bypass, is that if Ireland already owns the state, it won't work. So keep that in mind. Now, here's the focus. Now, here's what I like to do so that it's less confusing. You can add a number sign you holding shift and three. 
and you can just say give back Belfast. It's not not a major thing, but it can be helpful. So let's say you want um, where it says default, uh, you kind of have to like explore a little bit, but what it does is it gives you um, like whether or not if it switches or not, but I would probably leave that alone. I and mean, even if it is important, just, you know. Now for the GFX icon, um, again, you can add a pre-made GFX ID if you really wanted to. But what you gotta do, um, if you're gonna make a new one entirely, the ID has to match that, and that's where interface comes in. I'll show you in the next video. Um, so filter, focus filter, well, let's say this is political, technically, because if it's political, therefore, the, oh, I accidentally clicked on my Google Pro thing. Um, so what you do is, um, once you have a good, uh, what was it? There we go. Got rid of that. So once you have a good ID that comes in, here's interface. This is the vanilla game, by the way. Um... So IRE, give back Belfast. So let's say you want to make your own icon. Now you, you have to edit the ID if that's the case. So I would say do something simple. Like you can leave it lowercase, you can put like this if you want to. But let's just say um, this, for example. GFX underscore focus underscore give back Belfast. Now, of course, yes, you can add the tag before it to avoid confusion. Um, although, for the sake of this, I guess we're not going to, you know, go too far with it. Uh, put that for one. Oh, and Y vertices, that's up and down, and X is uh, diagonal, so keep that in mind. Well, actually, no, not diagonal, uh, horizontal. Horizontal is from left to right, and vertical is down to up. That's why. So, yeah. Um, this is basically how to make a file structure of a focus. But we're not quite done yet. Why? Well, it's because you still need one important factor. Aside from the icon, of course. You need, you already have the effect, but you need localization. Now there's a bunch of different ways you can do localization. Um, here's how it works. For those of you who don't know, so you can do IRE underscore focuses underscore L underscore English. And keep in mind, when you make stuff like this, uh, there's a new thing with uh, NSB DLC came out, but it's recommended that you put this in like English, for example. And then you drag, drop it in, and there you go. Now, another thing I forgot to do actually was YML. The dot YML is where everything goes. And before you do any edit, Put, set this to UTF-8 bomb. Once you do that, you're all set. So, that's good. Um, you can do... Like, if you look at localization for another mod, like, for example, here's my uh, Imperial Saculum mod, you'll see it has this thing up here. English... Uh, Unders L underscore English with the colon mark. Now when you do this, you click enter to go to the next line and then do one space. So that this way it kind of follows this path type. 
Um, don't worry about all that text. That was from the other thing. Um, so, for the Irish focus, what you can do is uh, IRE give back Belfast. So, this is where the title comes in, mainly. And you can just simply do this. All right, so then you do enter a few times, and as you can see, it does this, the lines, which can be very helpful, actually. Um, yeah, after that, so let's say you want the description for this. Uh, well, you can add a description here, uh, but it's, it's kind of complicated, because when you make stuff uh i'm just gonna grab this little code here so when you make stuff for description you can do like you have to do something like this you repeat this text except add underscore desk now you have a colon mark and a zero sometimes it could be one depending on i guess factors and what you do is this is your description so that's this up here is your title and this is your description but before you make the title you have to watch out for something like this like where it says like it, there's no nothing here that says description so what you can do um well, yeah, it's mainly optional, I guess, but basically you tie this in with this. And yeah, sorry, I, I actually thought it was something else, my bad. Um, but yeah, you don't need a description. Like, you don't need to put something like this there so long, you know, you tie it in correctly. Now, um, oh yeah. I forgot about this focus filter. This one is uh, pretty simple, actually. It's just if if it's political, obviously, um, got to find the right ID here. Cause yep, here it is. So you just put this in here, and there you go. Now your uh, next step is putting a description now keep in mind put it in between these quotation marks otherwise it won't work it'll malfunction um so let's say we'll make it brief so let's say britain has our lands we must demand it back Something simple like that. You can go as long as you want to, but just, you know, factor in that, you know, if you make it too long, it may be hard to read for some. Only because it's tedious. Like, just, usually I would try to keep a consistent thing somewhere between th one to three sentences total. Uh, maybe up to five, depending on how detailed it is, but usually I would not, like, put too much text. Because, you know, for convenience all right so now that you have that um your next goal is the icon so the icon um uh, that's a bit of a different story but this video has gone on for a while now so check in for part two and i'll tell you all about how to make it thank you and happy modding